Yo, what's up my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy JC Desmond. Welcome to Love Over Narcissism. And today I just want to remind you guys that uh you know you have you have to be realistic, okay? Stop kidding yourself. The narcissist never loved you. Please uh like, share, subscribe. Um, let everybody know about the channel where uh, we will be, you know, motivating you guys to kind of get out of your comfort zone and stop being in this trauma bond and, and moving forward to living your best life. You know, let you know that you are enough and you can move on without this treacherous person in your life. So let's get right to it. Um, so it's a little bit of a backstory. I, uh, I was at a, on this uh, forum on Facebook on a group where I was posting a lot of uh, you know inspirational stuff and quotes and things. And what I, I noticed that a lot of people um, who were on that group that are on this channel now, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. A couple of people were a little bit taken back by um, one, um, I guess, one status that I had put up. And the status says, why are you with the narcissist? They never loved you. They never respected you. Um, be realistic. Understand that you are enough. You can move on. I mean, I, I don't quite remember it because I was, I was blocked from the group. Um, and it's, it's, you know, like it was a motivational piece. And a couple of, most of the people were very receptive to it. But a couple of people, you know, were, were not. You know, one person was like, you know what? Just stop. Please, just stop. And so then it kind of caused a little bit of an argument between some of the um, some of the members, and uh, eventually I was uh, booted off the group, which uh, I thought was kind of funny, but then I thought it was kind of sad, because the truth of the matter is, is that there's some people that are just not willing to hear the truth right now, or they're not ready yet, you know, but you have to you have to understand with these people, you know, it's not how you feel. The facts are the facts. If you are dealing with a malignant narcissist or a pathological, pathologically narcissistic individual, you are dealing with a person who has never loved you from the moment they met you. Everything they did was a lie. It was all a trick to try to get into your life so that they can, you know, they, they got you, they baited you, they hooked you in, and... Then they started the love bombing, and then they started devaluing you. Um, all this was planned. From the, per from the moment that person met you and thought that that person saw value in you, it was planned that they were going to do this. So you have to understand that this person, at no point in their life did they love you. They don't even love themselves, trust me. You have to be realistic about this. And once... You come to this realization that they never loved you and you come to the realization that, you know, that they're not even capable of loving themselves. This is when you can start, you know, I mean, it's tough to be honest with you because you're, it's going to hurt. But you can come to that point where you're like, you know what, it is what it is. And uh, as I said before in a previous uh, video where it's like you're, you're, you're addicted to a drug and breaking free from that drug, anytime you detox from a drug, you know, you feel the need to have that drug because it makes you feel better, but it's slowly starting to kill your body. Well, when you're detoxing from a drug, you're going through the worst pain, the worst withdrawals, and the worst symptoms that you can imagine. Trust me when I tell you, I've, I've, I've been addicted to drugs before. I'm not going to name which drugs I've been addicted to, but that's neither here nor there. And when I went through the withdrawal phase, it was hell. It was hell. It was torturous. But I've got, I got better eventually. I got better. And, uh, you know, it, it took, it took uh, people to get me out of that. Um, but the beauty about this is that, you know, you can get out of this. It does, it's not going to take people to do this. It, all it takes is you to love yourself and you to understand that yeah, you don't need these people. You don't need these individuals. These are hateful, soulless individuals that don't love. They don't love. You have to keep hearing it. They did not love you. They did not care about you. They don't even love themselves. You know, you have to understand that, you know, it was all a game to them. It was all a lie. The person that you were in love with does not exist. They don't exist. It's not a real person. You know, um, you were in love with the facade that they put on to try to hook you in. 
Because the truth is, you certainly do not love the abuser. You certainly do not love the person who has been giving you all this shit, who's been uh, blaming you for infidelity, but yet it's been going behind your back and cheating on you. You know, you certainly don't love the person who insults you and puts you down and devalues you. You don't love that person. How could you love that person? Be real with yourself. You know, don't give me this shit like, oh, I, I see the good in them. No, you see what you want to see right now, okay? See you them for what they are. They are soulless creatures that don't care about anybody. They don't love anybody. They don't even love themselves. If they love themselves, they wouldn't be putting on a mask to try to lure you in to accept them. Because anybody who truly loves themselves will feel confident and go out and, and, and put their best foot forward and show themselves off to the world. This is who I am. I love who I am. Right? And it's only those people who love themselves that can truly love others. Narcissists do not love themselves. A person can't, if a person can't love themselves, how are they going to love you? Now, this is not to say that you are unlovable. No, I, you know, you are, you are more than lovable. Trust me when I tell you. And you have to say this to yourself all the time to remind yourself, yes, I am lovable. Yes, I am valuable. Yes, I am fucking awesome. Pardon my language, but don't pardon my language because my, uh, my channel's, you know, uncensored basically. You are fucking awesome without these individuals. These people are nobodies. They need, to, they need to leech off of other people because they know they ain't shit. They truly do know this, guys. Guys and gals, they know this. They ain't shit. You know? And the reason why they hate you is because they know they ain't shit. They know you are something special. And they know that no matter what, no matter what happens, whether they discard you, you discard them and everything, they're going to go through the cycle over and over again and you are going to grow and it's beautiful. You're going to grow. You're going to be fucking amazing. You're going to be better than you were before. You're already awesome, but you're going to be even better because you're going to be armed with knowledge on how to deal with these bottom feeders. But you have to come to that realization. These narcissists are incapable of loving you. It's not because you are unlovable. It's because they are incapable of loving. They are unlovable. Nobody loves them for who they really are. They have to lie to you. They have to lie to make you love them. And they're always looking for love. They're always looking for it. Trust me when I tell you, they want it. They're always looking for it. But how can you look for something if you don't even know what the hell it truly is? They don't even know what love is. They're living a lie. And if you keep feeding into this bullshit that, oh, you know, I, I do love them and they do love me, you're, f you're feeding that lie. You'll be living that lie with them. You don't want to live that lie. Get out of this bullshit that, they, that, you, that you feel like they love you and you feel like they can love. They cannot. Truly narcissistic people, pathologically narcissistic people, people with narcissistic personality disorder, do not love They idealize, they might be infatuated at the beginning, but they don't love, okay? But that's the difference between them and you. You do love. That's why we call this love over narcissism, baby. It's all about loving yourself. You do not need them to love you in order for you to love yourself. Just love yourself. Do awesome shit, get out there, love yourself. Show the world how wonderful you are. Show the world who you are. People are going to love you. You have to understand that you don't need these pieces of shit. And you don't love them either. You're in love with a, uh, a, a false persona, a facade, a fake that they put on in order to trap you. That's it. So with that being said, I hope you guys can come to the realization that you don't need these, uh, these, these low lives. You truly don't need them. You don't really love them. You know, you're trauma bonded. And you are absolutely enough. You can, you can go forward in life. I keep saying this to you guys. I keep stressing this because it's happening to me. I was, gonna, I was engaged to this woman and I thought I was in love with her. Turns out, after I found out everything that I found out about her, ah, I wasn't as much in love. I came to the realization that she was a piece of shit. That she was a narcissist. Well, she, um, that she is a narcissist, you know? 
and uh, it, it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's not easy for me because I still think about it. I still think about these people, but it's getting easier. It's getting easier. As I put out these videos, I'm getting stronger. As I talk to more and more people, you know, I, I really do truly feel for you guys. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy, but fuck, man, you're going to fucking do it. That's it. It's just plain and simple. You have the power. These people don't have the power. They always, they're going to always need to latch on somebody for the rest of their lives. They need other people in order to live. But it doesn't mean they love them. They don't even, guys, they don't even love their own children. Ain't that some sad shit? They don't even love their own children. Everything in this world is about them, themselves, getting their needs met. These are five-year-olds in adult bodies. Everything is about getting their needs met. If you don't meet their needs, you are the enemy. If you don't do for them, you don't love them. You don't want to be part of that. You don't love that. Getting in a relationship is, you know, I mean, these people only get into relationships, you know, because it's, it's transactional. Now, yes, there is, you know, things are, I guess, transactional in, or reciprocal or whatever the case may be. You know, I'm, I'm rambling. But um, like when you get into a relationship, there is a give and take. But it's 50-50. Or 100-100. And sure, there might be times it'll be 80-20 where you're going to have to carry the load because some, sometimes people are down. And they're going to do But if a person is constantly taking from you and taking your good energy, your good vibes, your, the love from you and devaluing you and putting you down and making you feel like you're there to serve them, that person does not love you. Fuck them. Get out of their lives. Take them out of your life. They do not deserve you. Okay? And stop putting this person on a pedestal and thinking, oh, you know, but I miss him or I miss her. You know, oh, you had such a such an exciting life. You, you think that's the only person that you can have an exciting life with? Guess what? Make an exciting life for yourself. And when you meet the next person, bring them into your exciting life. Now you have somebody that you're with that loves you that can live an exciting life with you. And now you're opening their mind. Be that person of value. Bring value into a person's life. Understand your value. Understand what you're worth. And acknowledge it. When people try to put you down, you say, nah, I know what I'm worth. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna fake me with this bullshit. You ain't gonna bring me down. You can't. You ain't strong enough. You need me. <laughs> Bitch, I don't need you. You need me. That's what you gotta tell him or her. Bitch, you need me. I don't need you. Remember that. I could be without you and, I, and I'm going to love myself regardless. I don't need people to tell me that I'm awesome to feel good about myself because I'm strong enough to tell myself. You don't need nobody else and you certainly don't need this, uh, this low-life garbage who devalue you and put you down. You know, probably went and started grooming another source of supply behind your back, went and cheated on you, and then discarded you like you were nothing. You don't need that shit. That's not something you want in your life. That is something you need to get rid of. And I'm telling you this right now. You are better than these people. You are more loving than these people. You are more attractive than these people. You just gotta, you just gotta understand this yourself, and you gotta constantly repeat this to yourself, and, and remind yourself that you are beautiful. You are absolutely awesome. You could do amazing things because you have the capability to do so. You don't need anybody else to do these things. You have a unique mind. You have talents. The narcissist doesn't, so they try to feed off of you. They try to take everything from you. They want you to service them. That's not love. That is slavery. You ain't no slave. You ain't a slave to nobody. Free yourself from this way of thinking. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. If uh, you like the video, then uh, like it, comment, subscribe. Please share this video with a couple of friends. And remind them that, you know, they need to be realistic, okay? If you are dealing with a narcissist, you need to be realistic about what you're dealing with and understand that while they might not love you, it's because they were never capable of doing so. They never learned how to do that. It has nothing to do with you. And you are more than capable of finding love and happiness in your life. 
please respect yourself. Love yourself. Love over narcissism, baby. Shout out to everybody who has uh, supported the channel. I truly do love you guys. And um, whew, getting a little emotional here because um, uh, it's been a journey for me. And you guys are helping me heal. So God bless you all. I love you all. Happy Friday, baby. Love over narcissism. Mwah. Peace.